Hello. Uh, welcome to a, to a new video on the channel. This is uh, very different than the uh, content I usually make, which is random fighting game clips in Minecraft sometimes, a while ago. Anyways, this is a, a process video, more or less, going through what I did and what I've done to create a custom artwork for my mix box, my finding game controller. So, there is a, I'll go over the process that led up to this point a little as I'm taping on the stencil here. I have no white spray paint, so this required me to uh, have to find a couple workarounds. First off, I'm using the white of the paper as the white in the, in the, uh, in the painting. So I'm taping the letters of the counter hit effect to the paper so that when I do the background it doesn't shine through here. And uh, if I had white spray paint it would be a lot easier. I could just use a stencil. But uh, I only have four cans of spray paint as of now. So I'm working with what I got. Yeah, so I taped down the piece of paper to the size of the plexiglass. There's a plexiglass that comes with a mix box, and I can just tape it down. And now here I go. Perfectly sized the canvas. Start getting some... I'm going to start with a light blue. Just over the top. Make sure those counter hit letters are down. So I don't get too much spillage in them. Keep in mind for this process. Uh, don't expect me to be a professional. I'm sure... Everyone who's ever done this has done it ten times better, but that's the whole point of art. This is my thing, not their thing, so it doesn't matter. Alright, so my plan is this is to have a lot more purple than blue. Blue is only really going to be a, a light accent in the background here. It's mainly purple, so I just only put a little tiny bit of blue. But I'll go a little harder with the purple, as you'll see in a minute. Just so I can get that down, you see it turn around, I'm a little angry at the wind a bit of a windy day. Alright, we're laying down the purple, making sure it's a little thicker than the blue. I went a little too hard on the bottom right there, but that sorts itself out, sort, sorts itself out in time. Alright, just getting some nice coverage there. Spraying around. Nobody's business. getting close to finish the purple here. Got quite a pretty thick layer of purple. You see I pointed out the mistake there. And just put a more of a border around. Got always satisfied with that. So now I'm peeling off each individual letter. Trying to spear the paint. Dries pretty quick. And we get a nice clean counter hit effect. I was very happy with this. This is the first step and will be the background for the rest of the painting. Alright, so we took some time to let it dry in the next cut. And we're going to move on to taping it down for the next part. Uh, we're making a triangle here out of masking tape and we're going to cover the other side with a piece of 8.5-11 printer paper, just we get no spillage. But I'm doing this so I can create kind of a like a hit effect on the attack that I'm doing. You'll see what attack I'm doing later. It's one of the stencils I made before the video. All the stencils are pre-made. I made them, well, I made them, but I made them before the video, so you wouldn't, I wouldn't get footage of me just cutting paper. But they're very cool. Anyways, we're making this triangle so that I can kind of spray paint some yellow. I'm gonna start uh, very, uh, hard in the middle and gonna make it light outwards. Sadly, I never got footage of this <laughs> as you'll see This part of the video is just gone because my phone ran out of storage So we jump cut to when it's finished and you see I got a pretty neat effect there One more star. This is looking pretty good. Showing it to the camera There we go so this is kind of 
all of it until the last part. So this is all I need to do before adding the character in. As I say, in the best part. Yeah, so we got we cut out one stencil, this is Sin Kisuke 6 h from Guilty Gear Exerd. We have one stencil of the full body there, and then we have one stencil of just the shadows. Which means we can paint the full body here in one color onto the piece of paper. And then we can go back over, line up the shadows just perfectly, and then paint it on. Here we go over with the tape, make sure everything is secure. You don't want any spillage at all here, because the background, I mean a bit of blue wouldn't uh, hurt the background too much, but I just want to keep it nice and consistent. And I'm a bit of a freak with the masking tape, I put a little too much maybe, but, you know, uh, there won't be spillage, I can guarantee that. Alright, now we'll get spray painting. This this part of the video is sped up a little, because it's quite repetitive. Just going over and over again in blue, making sure the tone is completely consistent. Lots and lots of blue on there. Made sure it was all nice. And then we just line it up. Don't want to pull off the, the canvas as well. And I just pull off that stencil. Nice clean cut there. So I'll jump cut where it dried. And here we're lining up the shadows. So you gotta make sure the shadows are just right. Because if the shadows are um, shifted a little too much, it'll look completely wrong. So you have to make sure the foot's in the right place, the, the bottom of the flag, the front of the flag, and his head basically, and the little, uh, the left part of his cape, or the right part, if you're looking at it from the, uh, the other way. Uh, but yeah, for us, the left part of the cape. And you gotta line them all up to make it absolutely perfect. I skipped most of the taping this time because you've seen, you've seen the taping process one too many times. So then I just make sure all the little parts of the shadow are unbent and are pushed down as much as I can. And then we get the black. Give a little thumbs up to the camera. And I do I go pretty strong with the black. Make sure the shadow is very consistent. Then again it's a stencil. You can go pretty hard. You don't need to worry about it too much as long as you have the papers so there's no spillage. Alright, now we repeat the same thing. And boom, we have the final product, or not the final product, but all the paints down for now. And we have that nice character that looks very crisp, very clean. I really like the result right, of this. It is time for the final peeling, the final result. Be dry. That's a good art. Very good art. Is that too big? Crouch down a little bit. 
Oh yeah. That. That's good. Very happy with this all. All right. When that's done, all we gotta do is just I use the plexiglass and the stencil knife to just cut it out to the perfect size of the mix box. I just stuck it on the front. Well, did all the wires in the back, got all the buttons in, it's all connected, and boom! We have the final product here. I actually ended up washing the plexiglass a little after this, but it's pretty hard to tell because the, the dirt was mostly yellow, or the paint was mostly yellow on the plexiglass. But yeah, that's the final product, all put in the mix box. I didn't actually expect the buttons, the blue buttons, to perfectly line up with the colors of Sin Kisuke here. But, you know, um, it looks like I planned it, because it all lines up good, so I'm happy with that. Now, another thing, I'm really I'm happy with how I made this, and I think it was really fun, so... If you have any other ideas, just drop them in the comments. I really want to hear them, because I'm totally down to make more. I'm totally down to invest in this as more interesting content, rather than just, like, random fighting game clips and Minecraft from, like, months ago. Anyways, it was fun. I hope to do it again sometime. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.